Alright YouTube, this is JLo138 and I'm bringing you another video this is a projection video but it's a little bit different than my other ones as you will see this is my Android smartphone by HTC let me turn it on for you see, here you go I don't know if you can see how well you can see that, but uh, that's my phone. And if you will notice, right at the front, I have the HDM Win app, and I have rooted my phone. It is 2.2. I still have the stock ROM, but I did have to use a custom kernel for this app to work. Also, this HDMI cord and my projector which is a game time projector by Optima if you look at my other videos you'll see what I'm talking about for info and information on it alright go ahead and plug it in in just a second you will see this screen on my wall well hopefully it should detect it Okay. It's a black screen, so I have to go back to the app. And now I have to restart it. Alright, here we go. You can see that. That is the actual app. And I am, I got a mini HD cable, and it is output to my projector. And I will shut off the lights. Just give me one second. Sorry, I have to pass over. Getting a little comfortable here. There's my screen. I can pretty much do anything with this. I can go to the camera. As you can see, it's kind of dark in here. This is the wall see give you the infinite mirror thing here's my camera recording all right let's go out of that what everybody I have I have looked on YouTube and have not seen any videos doing this this is a huge Android screen and the audio works as well it goes through the HDMI cord but what I have not seen anybody do is this I have seen people play it but not from their phone on a projector I'm not very good at the game so give me a break here I just play a stage, see if I can do any good at it. If I'm not playing it correctly, you don't need to correct me because I'm not the best at this. But this is what uh, this is what everybody's asking for. They want to play Angry Birds on the big screen. Well, this is a big screen. I got lucky on that one. If I win, then I got lucky. Alright, one more shot. Oh, really? <laughs> Fail.
Well, like I said, I'm not the best at the game, but uh, that's what everybody wants to see. Here we go, one more time. It's on my phone. The same exact screen. Mind you, I can't really play well showing you this, but I'm gonna try. That's enough of that. Now I will show you. Let me see. What about you two? I'm using 3G. I don't have the best signal. But you see that right there? That's because of my um, ad free. My phone's rooted. So, you can use ad free with a rooted phone and it removes the ads. It helps load pages faster. And I'm subscribed to a few people Nintendo Nerd, L1 Games, Fred EW, Corridor Digital, and Dutson Entertainment. Gotta give him some props because uh, he helped me root my phone to begin with. He also helped me soft mod my Nintendo Wii. But um, if you haven't checked any of these people out, go ahead and check them out. Subscribe to their channel. They're, they're worth it. Especially L1 Games. You know, he's a video game. I'm not advertising here, but I'm just, just saying he's worth looking into if you're a gamer. I'll go to my channel. I'll show you the full page versus the regular one, the mobile version. going to play a video probably. Here's my channel. I need to update the background. Haven't done that in a while, but it is my work of art. It says HBL for half byte loader. That was developed before the Total Noob Hand for those of y'all who follow me or follow any of the PSP scene. My channel. Not really sure what else to do. I mean, I've already showed you everything else. I can show. Here are my other apps that I have. I got ad free, which I already explained that gives you no ads. So when you, and it's not 100% free of ads. If you get a game, like for instance Angry Birds, that game was free because it's usually ad supported. But ad free actually removed the ads on that game. So that's why you didn't see any ads on it. The first Angry Birds, I didn't play that one because ad free doesn't remove the ads for that particular game but it does for the other two that I have uh, file explorer that's a nice app to have you can go through and delete folders and stuff through your phone without having to hook it up to a computer uh, get jars a website I discovered I actually knew about it some years ago back in 07 and I used to use it on an old phone and download free games. Well, now they have it. They have an app for it it's for smartphones and stuff like that. You can get free apps and games. And I got this crazy kart racing you see. It's, it's all right. Not really that good. Um, HDM Win, that's a must if you want to mirror your screen on anything, whether it be a TV or a projector like I'm doing here. It is a must. You must have a rooted phone and I use Unrevoked 3 to do mine. I have not installed any custom ROM. I have only installed a custom kernel which was supported on my Android 2.2 and it supported HDMI output mirroring. Uh, kernel Manager, that's what I used 
to download the kernel and to flash it. Make sure you do a backup because I actually downloaded a ROM Cyanogen, I believe it was called something like that, seven point something. And I'm still new to this, so I didn't know that it wasn't compatible with my phone. Good thing I made a backup because I got boot loop. So within 15 minutes, I was back, ready to go. Everything was normal, like I never installed it. My Android, you need to have the dot dat files from your computer. If you save the world, you can take that, put it on your SD card, and then you can play, or you can browse your world. It's not really playable, should I say. It's kind of difficult to use, but it does work. Mobile player is the best uh, video playing app out there that I know of. Uh, Night Vision was kind of gay, but I got it because it's kind of neat to have. Paper camera. I clicked on that. Uh, paper camera. You need to have that app. For sure. It is awesome. Uh, there's not much to say. I mean, it does a lot of, it does a few effects, maybe six or seven, but you take pictures with your regular camera and you can upload them in there. Uh, shoot me. That's not available anymore. You could probably go to a website and find it. You need to have a uh, rooted phone apparently now to use it. If you have Android 2.2, you don't. It'll still work. And super user permission that allows uh, that's what unrevoked install when you root your phone and install that onto my phone and it has permissions that you normally wouldn't get and mainly the reason I rooted my phone was for wireless tether once I found out about the video mirroring that was the other reason to do it all right, that's enough for the video. I mean, uh, let me show you a paper camera. I don't know. It's pretty neat. Continue anyway, because I don't update anything. This is a comic boom. My favorite one is probably a SketchUp. See what it does. This is my home theater room. Let's see if I can turn this on. There we go. It takes pictures. For my phone, it won't take full screen pictures, so what you do is you use the regular camera and take the pictures, and then you can upload them in this app, and it will stay full screen, and it'll add the effect, and the effect actually looks better. Comment, rate, subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them. Um, I'm not real familiar with all the hacking on the Android phone. I'm still new to it. Basically, I just browse the internet and YouTube for people who have done it, and most of them show me how, and that's what I do. I just read all the videos, or read all the description in the videos, watch them, and try to learn something. And yeah, you can make a mistake. So if you're going to flash a custom ROM, do a backup. Use an Android. Um, I have Clockwork Mod, and I made a backup before I flashed the ROM, so I was good afterward because I got that boot loop, like I said already. Um, this is this is awesome. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Alright, I'm out. Video's gotten a little longer than I wanted it to because I was talking, but if you have any questions, leave them in the description. I'm out.